The Diocese of Camden had a special education program run by the Office of Catholic Schools for many years. The program was based in several grammar schools, Holy Peter High School and Canyon Catholic High School. This program was important because it offered Catholic school education to students with learning disabilities. In 2010, the Diocese of Camden turned the learning program over to, over to the school. Camden Catholic High School named our program the McCauley Program in honor of Mother Catherine McCauley, the founder of, of Sisters of Mercy. Mother McCauley and the Sisters of Mercy believe that education is an important part of everyone's life. The McCauley Program continues to grow and thrive at CCHS, preparing students for post-secondary education. Yes. The goals of the McCauley Program are to make sure our students are educated, well-rounded, and of course, safe and feel comfortable in the environment that is Camden Catholic. Simple predicate is the main verb or verb phrase. The way you get into the Macaulay program is the same way that any student gets into Camden Catholic. You fill out the application. You, some students take the HSPT, some don't have to. Um, but we also make sure that if you have a service plan or an IEP, an individualized uh, education plan, we look that over and um, we determine we go from there. The subject. Do not include the subject when we're talking about the complete predicate here. Usually we walk around the orchard. Wave it. All right, you said. <laughs> so it's a tricky one. Bring a big appetite. Bring a big appetite. There's a subject. It's understood. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of a command. You bring a big appetite, right? We talked about that yesterday. For a variety of classes, freshman year they take reading, pre-algebra, English. Um, they also take gym with the mainstream students. Um, they take religion or sacraments. Um, they also take world geography and uh, general science. And then moving up every year, um, they either take morality, um, social justice, those types of classes for religion. The same titles as the mainstream kids do. Um, the reading level is just a little bit different. Uh, science, they take biology and the other course is earth science. And then the other program, we teach um, Algebra 1 Part 1, Algebra 1 Part 2, and Geometry, and then Practical Math for the Consumer. And then we also teach, what else do I teach? Um, U.S. Government, U.S. History 1 and 2. And I think that's about, it's a good mix of classes that the mainstream kids take and that we teach in our program. But a lot of our students do take mainstream classes starting sophomore year. Um, well, I bleed green, so it's just an easy phrase to always say when you, some, when somebody asks me that kind of question. Um, I just my favorite part is honestly every year I have a new favorite memory. So it's I can't ever say something was my favorite because when starting from when I went here to now, everything's been my favorite. I've always had a smile on my face and. You can have, we can always have our bad days, but I feel like coming here every day makes it that much better. But why, you have to include everything. Oh, the complete predicate. So that is part of it, the beginning. The biggest challenge I've faced is um, probably the different levels of disabilities that we bring in, but I don't consider that a challenge. I actually consider that worthwhile to me, I think if I'm able to make a change and to help these students who have learning disabilities learn a different way, succeed, then to me it's never a challenge, it's always a success. When, when is it occurring? Oh. The first time I, wanted, I knew I wanted to be a teacher um, was in grade school actually, but then in eighth grade I had the opportunity to go to a school with students who had severe learning disabilities and from that point on, I just knew um, students with learning disabilities were the coolest kids ever. So that's how I knew. My neighbor Matt takes out his fishing gear. Takes out. All right. Takes. All right, Ariana, sure. What is it? Takes. Takes. Very good. Okay, eight. He cleans his gear. Um, see, I don't consider any of this hard work um, because every day I walk in this building and I have a blast with my students. Um, so to say hard work, not even close. It's just fun for me. Um, 
and what makes it fun and worthwhile is because I get to see the kids grow up before my eyes and I see a lot of them succeed like yourself. Hi, my name is Chris Bidero and I directed this film and Beth McCauley program. I did this, I, I did this film on the Vicar program because it's special to me and I remember coming into Kim Catholic and I wasn't as confident but when I came here I was welcomed with open arms with everybody. The Vicar program it means so much to me because I am a senior in this program and I've gone all four years here. Freshman, sophomore, junior, and now senior. I wanted to do this film because to to show everybody what the McCloud program is. Because not everybody that came to Catholic knows what the McCloud program really is. And I wanted to show that people who have disabilities, like people know about the um, international program, but not so much about the McCloud program. And it means a lot to me because, like I said, I'm a senior in this program. And I have grown in so many ways. The McCauley program is something very special here at Kim the Catholic. And it was founded by Mother Catherine McCauley, the founder of the Sons of Mercy. And it's just like she was a beautiful example. And to have that, um, her name, her last name, under the program makes us really special as well. So. I hope you enjoyed this film and hope one day you'll be a part of it as well.